Hello indie game fans, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. This is Old Gamer Joe here with another review for you today as we look at Forgone, an action 2D platformer from developer and publisher Big Blue Bubble. It is $29.99. It is also available on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. A Steam version of this game will be coming in March of 2021. The story of Forgone takes place in the city of Caligan, which is now under invasion by a rival state who are trying to steal the technology that the scientists hold there. In an attempt to fend off this invasion, the scientists create a new breed of super soldiers that come to be known as the Arbiters. From there, you'll begin your quest as a female character who is in fact the first of these Arbiters. The story doesn't actually play a huge role in this title. The central focus here is definitely on a really great combat system as well as some basic platforming and exploration. So if you were going into Forgone hoping for a meaningful storyline with tons of different cutscenes, you might be a little bit disappointed, but I suspect most of you that are interested in this game are here for the action and the loot system, as well as the skill upgrading. If that is the case, then I'm pleased to report that all of those mechanics work really well in Forgone, particularly the combat system, which I had an absolute blast messing around with. There are so many different weapons for you to collect and upgrade in this game that it never really gets it's old and the experimentation is a lot of fun. Every weapon that I equipped in Forgone felt drastically different from the last and that's really satisfying. For example, the spear in this game can be used to poke away at enemies, has its own distinct feel, and then you have something like the sword which is more of a quick slash. All of the melee attacks and the platforming feel really great in Forgone, but making things even more interesting is the fact that there are guns. These guns can be used to deal with enemies that might be on a platform slightly above you, and they do add a nice element of strategy to the combat scenarios that you find yourself in. Whenever you defeat enemies in this game, you'll be able to pick up a ton of loot off their corpses, which includes weapons and also currency. There are two currencies in this game, in fact, which can be used in the skill upgrade tree. You will come across outposts where you can not only upgrade skills by going down a pretty wide variety of different branches, and you can approach that in any order you wish, but you can also upgrade weapons. Again, because there are so many weapons that you'll pick up, you'll also probably want to scrap some of these for currency. It's a good idea, and you might not like the way certain weapons feel, so you might as well get some money for it. So yes, the storyline does take a little bit of a backseat to all of the great action here. I didn't have a problem with that. There's enough story beats still scattered across this world. You do find some commander logs here or there which tell you a little bit more about what's going on. But on the whole, the combat system really steals the show in this one. And I enjoyed interacting with both the platforming and the upgrade trees. I also think Forgone strikes a really good balance of not being too difficult, but being challenging enough. Healing in this game is smartly attached to the right trigger, and there's a set amount that you can use at a given time, but the game incentivizes you to take out enemies, not only to regain the ability to heal once you've used all of it up, but to also get your skills back, which do drain as well. A death in Forgone is also not the end of the world as it can be in other games of this genre. No, you will drop everything, but it will be there waiting for you so long as you can make it back. And because the game has a great teleportation travel system, you don't usually have to worry about it too much. Unless you die in a boss room, you'll probably want to beat that boss the second time, or you risk losing everything. Overall, all of the systems implemented into Forgone feel really great, the combat is a blast, and the platforming is spot on. Graphically Forgone is a beautiful title to look at, some wonderful pixelated art here. All of the bosses are huge and colorful, the environments are well detailed, and there's a good variety to both the enemies and the environments that you're in. I think the animations are superb in this game. There's a great attention to detail put into the animations as well, like blood splattering all over the screen at certain times. All of the enemies have a very distinct look and feel to them. Just everything in Forgone looks fantastic. I I have no complaints whatsoever when it comes to graphical presentation, and I definitely don't have any about the soundtrack either, which is really epic in this title. Lots of great melodies here, wonderful orchestration, very well put together pieces that set the mood perfectly, and the actual sound effects of this title are very visceral and sound great. Overall, a fantastic package in terms of graphical quality and sound design. Really excellent job by this developer. What can I say? It feels good to put out a positive review into the world, but I don't really have much negative to say about Forgone. It's a really great playing game with fantastic graphics and an excellent soundtrack and tons of action. What more could you really want out of a 2D platformer? This is one of my favorites on the year, actually. I had 
had a great time playing through this one, collecting all the different loot. I guess the one knock I have against this game is the fact that it's not the most original of titles. You've played plenty of games that have a lot of similar systems. I just think that Forgone executes on them all so well that it's easy to forgive that. Overall, I definitely recommend checking out Forgone if you're a fan of 2D action platformers. So are you going to be checking out Forgone? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed our video review today, consider hitting the subscribe button if you have yet to do so. It helps us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. You can also help us in a ton of different ways, including becoming a channel member, or even checking out our merchandise store, hopping into the Discord, or hitting the bell notification if you are subscribed. However you end up supporting iDream of Indie, thank you so much.